Here we are in a 42 West sale named Waymari, finishing up a installation of some lithium batteries and an entire Victron system. This is the new GX Touch 50 from Victron, uh, coupled with the Servo GX for our monitoring system. And we run these batteries down over the last day or so to 58%. We have two Lithionix GT275s. Um, you can see the that's metering from one of the BMSs. This is the metering from the other BMS. And this is our cumulative metering for the entire house bank and also your start bank. Here is one of our lithium house batteries, as well as its BMS counterpart. Our main DC distribution area our other house battery. Like I said, these are 275 amp hours each. We have a charge bus and a load bus because the BMSs track everything going in and out of these batteries at all times. Now to get these batteries charged back up, what we're gonna do here run our engine with our new 250 amp alternator and uh, see how quickly we can get them charged up. This is a Mark Grasser 250 amp custom alternator fitted with a in-house built custom bracket designed and built by MES and that gets hooked up to this external rectifier here. And the reason for all of this is basically by pulling the rectifier out of the alternator, you can greatly reduce the amount of heat that that alternator makes, therefore increasing the amount of power you can get out of it before you overload it thermally. Here is our house battery chargers, two Victron Skyla 60 amp house chargers. Part of the engine here. And as you can see at idle, we're putting out 80 amps out of that alternator. This is at 600 RPM. Now brought the RPM up to about 1600. Let's see what we got. this charging rate of 200 amps, we should be able to fully charge these batteries up in one hour, 50%. It's already come up 4% since we started the engine a minute or two ago. I always like to verify what the digital meters are saying and just check. Checking for amperage, I like to check for temperature as well. It's a pretty telltale sign if you have loose connections or anything going on like that. customer is heavily discharged and decides he wants to charge up faster than this, he could start his generator up, simply go into here, and you can turn on your house chargers too. Another great 
feature handy with the Victron stuff if you would like to monitor from your phone. You have all the capability and functionality to do so as well. Everything we can see on the screen, we can see here. Great little part of these uh, with the Onyx BMSs is the ability of what you can monitor. We can see that internally in that battery, we've only hit 76 degrees, and that battery is receiving 148 amps right now. Gives you trouble codes, gives you your amp hours available, the amount of watts, watt hours that the battery is getting right now, a fuel gauge, and then a normal percent gauge, which is personally my favorite. let this thing do its thing and should be charged up and ready to use again in no time. Thanks for watching.